Ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, the hotfix that hit Diablo 4 last night has made major adjustments to the game once again, and has all but killed our current best loot caves, at least in comparison to what they were before. Specifically, what they've done more than anything was apply a major nerf to the Slay All Enemies dungeon objective. This was the source of our most effective loot caves in the game right now, as there was a neat interaction where when you reached a threshold of remaining enemies, it would spawn down a massive group of enemies right on your head, and a part of that group would be a large number of elites too. This would mean in these specific dungeon objectives, you could clear out a ton more elites in a small time than anywhere else, and the nerf that they did essentially just made these wave spawns have fewer elites, they still exist, they still contain a bunch of monsters, there's just less elites specifically, which brings these slay all enemies objectives on par with other dungeons for the most part. The thing is, this hasn't completely destroyed loot caves as a whole, but it has made them far less efficient than what they were even a day ago, and while generally speaking the dungeons are much more normalized between all of them now, there are still some that shine for specific reasons, so today I'll be going over the best of what we've got left, essentially. Three dungeons that when done in specific ways are the best at three things. One that is the best XP per time ratio, one that is the best legendary and unique drops per time ratio, and then finally one that is on average quite good at both of those things, but not the best XP per time, but better than the pure legendary dungeon, and not the best legendaries per time, but better than the pure XP dungeon. And that's where you'll go if you want to farm both of these things at the same time somewhat effectively. That said, let's dive into the XP dungeon then, and surprisingly, this one is actually still Ruins of Eridu down in the Hawazar region. Of course, this was the major reason that this nerf even actually happened, as this dungeon was the best at both of these things before, and it was the best at it by a major margin. Now this dungeon is much less effective than it was before, but it still is relatively the best experience per time ratio of any of the ones that I've tested, and I spent the last few hours checking out different dungeons to see what up, so I've tested quite a few. Essentially, the strat for this dungeon then is the same as it was before, but if you didn't know, you enter the dungeon, then pretty much right away from the get-go, the mob density inside of here is pretty nuts. You can go from enemy to enemy with minimal running around time. Once you get to the main chamber, there is a circle that you can follow, so go either left or right to enter the circle, then just slowly clear out all of the enemies until you reach the other end of the circle and it's complete. Then you use the emote wheel to exit the dungeon, exit out to the character select screen from the escape menu, you log back in, and the dungeon is reset for you to go at it once more. On my specific build, at my level, I was clearing this out in an average of about 50 seconds, and getting 200,000 experience if we include the 5% elixir buff as well, which I'll be using for all of these, and if we extrapolate that out, that winds up at about 14.4 million experience per hour, excluding reset time. This is about 64% as good as it was before, but it's still better than any other dungeon is in this current patch, which is why I'm calling this the current best XP per time strategy. The big thing here is that it is no longer insanely better than any other dungeon, it's just the best by comparison, so hopefully they won't touch it any further. This one drops one legendary every three runs or so now on average from what I've seen, which is a fair amount less than before, and that's why I'm no longer calling this one a good loot farm, just the best experience farm. Past this we move on to our new best legendary and unique farming dungeon after the hotfix. This is where you want to go and what you want to do if your sole purpose of farming right now is getting as many legendaries as possible in the shortest amount of time to try and just sort of conquer the RNG. And funnily enough, that is actually back to being something it was before, which is Iron Hold. This was the best legendary farm dungeon about a week ago. They nerfed it back then because it was too good at this purpose, and that let other dungeons rise up and take its place. But this recent hotfix nerfing all of these slay all enemies dungeons has put them much further behind than legendary specifically, and so Iron Hold even post its original nerf has actually retaken the throne, as it just has the most elites per time ratio that you can reach, which leads to the highest legendaries to time ratio as a result. The way to run Iron Hold specifically then for this purpose is to just blitz through the first floor of the dungeon, ignoring pretty much all the enemies as much as possible while sticking to the right side until you find the skull marked enemy on your minimap. When you kill that enemy, they will drop a key. Use this key to open the locked door, which is back towards the start of the dungeon, always on the left side of it, and then progress through. Sometimes there is a bit of an event here to slow you down, sometimes you just walk through with nothing impeding your progress. Once through though, the next objective is an item return one. There is one path that will head to the left, and one path that will head to the right. On each of these paths there is specifically a massive group of elites, usually six to eight of them in a small pile, so look for this group on one path, murder them all as fast as you can for your nice high legendary drop rates, then ignore these small guys and head to the group on the other side of the floor, and kill them for the same thing. Then once again,
again, use the emote wheel to exit the dungeon, log out to character select, log back in, and the dungeon will be reset, ready for you to do it again immediately. I was getting a pretty consistent two legendaries per run in Ironhold now, but it also took me about two and a half minutes per run on average, so that rate is actually pretty decent. It was also 300,000 experience per run, so it's not too bad for that either. If we extrapolate those numbers out, it is on average about 48 legendaries per hour, which is still extremely good, and about 7.2 million XP per hour, so still about 50% as good for XP as the new Ruins of Eridu, but a significantly higher legendary drop rate, so you sort of have that trade-off. The thing is, because you're just basically ignoring everything in here that isn't elites, this just nets you the most elites per time. Ignoring small enemies means losing out on tons of XP, but elites have the best legendary drop rate, so this one works out wonderfully. You kill as many elites as you can, you reset, you do it again. Yes, again, it was nerfed last week, it's worse than it was before that, but now that pretty much every dungeon has been nerfed a bit, it is actually shooting back up to the top of legendary farm specifically. Then finally, let's talk about our best in-between dungeon now, the one that gives pretty good XP and pretty good legendary drop rates too, but not quite the best of either. Again, this is the location that you want to go to if you want more XP than Iron Hold will give you and more legendaries than the Runes of Eridu will give you, and that is the Forsaken Quarry located right here in the northern side of the Fractured Peaks. This one is very similar to the way that we would run Runes of Eridu before. You go into it, the first floor is a slay all enemies objective along a pretty straightforward path. Simply follow that path, killing everything in front of you. This one is a straight line, not even a circle. There's a couple of dead ends that you have to clear, but they're very short paths. Then once you've killed all of the enemies on this floor, use the emote wheel to leave the dungeon once again, quit out to the character select screen, and then log back in to reset the dungeon so you can go back in again fresh. This one is not bad by any means. I was completing a run in about 65 seconds on average and getting 200,000 experience for doing so. If we again extrapolate those numbers out, you get an average of just over 11 million experience per hour, and I was also getting a relatively consistent one legendary every two runs, which is an average of nearly 30 legendaries per hour at this rate, so this will net you about 60% as many legendaries as Iron Hold, which isn't bad at all, while also getting you about 76% of the experience per hour ratio of Ruins of Eridu, making it easily the best middle ground dungeon by a fair margin. To sum things up then, yesterday's hotfix clearly nerfed our best loot cave dungeons by a fair amount, and while our strongest farm locations have been hit pretty hard, we are not completely unable to farm by any means, but now you sort of have to divide and conquer, pick which strat to run for which purpose. Ruins of Eridu is still the most efficient experience farm, averaging about 14.4 million per hour, but getting only one legendary every three runs or so now with the lowered elite spawns, which means you get about 21 legendaries per hour here, less than half of what it was previously. Iron Hold is now once again the best place for legendary specifically, even after the original nerf that it had last week, as it currently sits at about 48 legendaries per hour on average, but the experience from running it and focusing only on elites is down at 7.2 million per hour. If you want a nice middle ground though, good experience and good legendary drops, then you should instead head to the Forsaken Quarry now in the Fractured Peaks. This dungeon gives you about 11 million experience per hour, as well as around 30 legendaries per hour too. And that just about covers it everyone. The hotfix nerfed a bunch of dungeons and what it has done is make them more in line with the average, but some of them will still always be better than the others. But again, it seems like nothing is absolutely ridiculously better than the average at this point. So please, Blizzard, just, uh, just don't nerf these anymore. I beg of you, they're totally fine now. That said, this is an ever evolving situation. Keep your eyes peeled for patches. But until then, these three dungeons are your go-to locations depending on what you're trying to farm. They are the best of what's left and they're still pretty decent. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out in the continuation of your Diablo 4 journey. Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. And most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye